assists he's had as a member of the Wizards, scoring 10 points. Let's see if that carry is over tonight. See if his offense carries over, we know his defense has been very good. He's on Bogdanovich to start, and there's a backdoor alley-oop for Gobert. Mitchell against KCP, step back for three. Donovan Mitchell. The room for air will be very small. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell, the turnaround jumper, and this is the largest lead of the game right now for Utah. Mitchell misses over Beal in transition. Here comes Beal. Beal, a little sidestep off the glass. Oh, look at that follow by Gafford. Tonight playing the Utah Jazz. Neto off the glass, and another follow dunk by Gafford. I love his energy. Beal to Bertans, left open for three, and Davis Bertans has his first two threes of the night, and the Wizards have a one-point lead. Just a little short on that. He'll, he'll make his adjustments. Ingles to Gobert, and Gobert will throw it down. He got this team to where it's at right now, being able to share the ball, moving it. There's Beal being the playmaker, lobbing one up to Trez. Clarkson. Kick out, here's Gay for three. Rudy Gay, the super vet. He came back. Yeah, yeah. he had six overall. Shot clock is down to five. Dinwiddie's back in. Dinwiddie to Harrell, puts it up quickly, and puts it in. This be a double dribble, no? I don't want to snitch on him. Kispert for three, nails it. Three or four games, I like say. He's been off the bench. Doesn't take any time to get started. Rudy Gobert able to finish picking up the offense with Mitchell on the bench. Trent Forrest has checked in here for Utah. Kispert for three again. Got two in a row. 27th game of the season for the Wizards. Corey Kispert has been struggling from three as Gobert throws it down easily again. But I think this is the season they got to prove to the people are you just a regular season, a good regular season team, mm -hmm. or can you be the same team in the playoffs? But Montrez taking frustration out on the rim. That's what fuels Montrez right there. Those type of plays. Nice strip by Forrest. In the corner, Mitchell for three. Donovan Mitchell. He is three of four from downtown. Fifth rebound for Denny Avdia. He's going to push. Nice pass with a left hand to Trez for the and one. Gafford against Bogdanovich. Lost it right to Neto, though. Great cut by How Neto. Conley to the hoop. And a foul late whistle against Gafford. Get prepared for the third quarter because one thing the Utah Jazz do, they make adjustments at halftime. They lead the NBA not only in second in scoring, but they lead the NBA in second half scoring. That's 10 points off the seven turnovers for Utah. Dinwiddie all the way to the hoop, and Spencer Dinwiddie has his first field goal of the game. He's now one of five. Dinwiddie to the hoop. No, Gafford again. The gamble pays off for West Sunsell Jr. Just calmly go at Dinwiddie here instead of Lobb to Gobert. Just too easy once. In the bind as a guard, and now the big has to step up in Gafford, leaving Rudy at the rim. Beal is two for two to open up this third quarter. Or that new deal. Hence, it's got to be the shoes. Yeah, yeah shoes. Oh, yeah. But a careless turnover here by Gafford. Conley with the steal. Here's O'Neal for three. And that's one of those that you just cannot do. That was the first foul against Field. Second team foul here of the third quarter. Bogdanovich. Nice finish with the left. Conley kicks it out. Bogdanovich. And there's Gobert with the offensive rebound and putback. Bogdanovich was looking for the foul. We do have an update on Scott Foster. It is a lower left leg injury. That's why we're going with two officials. Neto, look at him. Just control the pace, make Gobert decide what he wants to do. Second block of the night for Hassan Whiteside. Donovan Mitchell off the glass. 22 now on 7 of 13. He's been efficient. And a five point deficit. Berton steals that pass. 
Beal challenging Whiteside off the glass. Got it. I love it. I love the use of the body by Brad. Trey is trying to create some space. Another block, but now a steal by Neto runs into his own man, Harold. Bogdanovich follows his own miss. And there's going to be a timeout here by Wes Sunsell Jr. Don't forget it. He was paid $100 million to be a center in this league. And now he gets that lob. Justin, the other night I was watching him play the Sixers, who also has a really good one-two combination with their bigs. We think about Embiid and Drummond. Oh! And now a windmill by Donovan Mitchell off the lob, and it's a 10-point deficit. Conley against Kispert. No middle. With the rights, and Conley gets the roll. Conley trying to leave it off for Gobert. Gobert. Creates some space and finishes, and this is the largest lead of the game for Utah now at 12. The third quarter was like the first quarter of the previous four games. Clarkson. Got it, and the foul. Engel's quick release on the three. He missed that wide open one before. He doesn't miss many. Yeah. First three points of the night for Ingles. Holiday. Gets the roll. Aaron Holiday now in the scoring column. Holiday got it and the foul. Run for lob or to run out to these guys for threes. But I like that. But what I don't like is the free throw attempt of the Wizards. Five for eight. Gobert throws it down the alley oop, and the Utah Jazz bench erupts. Was at the end of the half. Wow. And there's a lob to Whiteside. Whiteside on him. Sidestep for three. Got it. First three of the game for Beal. He's now one for three from downtown. 17 points. Neto to Beal. And that was created by the cut by Bertans. How critical it is for this Wizards team. Clarkson. Great footwork. Beal to Gafford, right side clears out. Yeah, he knew better. That's one thing about good shot blockers, they know to jump. <laughs> well, what do good teams do? They make adjustments. If their outside shot is not falling in, what's next? Taking that ball into that painted area, and they did just that in the second half, not settling. And what we saw early on, they, they showed their hand. They showed us that they can play at a different type of level than what we saw maybe I'll say the last 10 games. They let the Jazz off the hook for not shooting more outside three-point attempts, if you ask me. Anthony Gill just in, gets the finger roll. They're not going to let up. This is the number one three-point shooting team in the NBA. They're not going to stop shooting threes, as you see. Hassan right side with the reverse. The second half, it was all Utah.